video of the Paradise Tribe, and today I have just witnessed the birth of La Nako, La Nako, and she is our first winged creature, like true winged creature, because all of our other winged creatures only have one flying gene, and well, looks like we just got our first true winged creature, and this marks the start of the true birds of paradise. I'm so excited, guys. Just, what shall we name you? I think I'm going to name you Starling. Great. Okay, so Satella. Well, you can't eat those, but you can just attempt to grab these, and I think we'll have at least two more children. Well, that's how many we're only allowed to have. And again, we have more children that we have to name. So, Taro, what shall we name you? I guess we're gonna name you Cardinal. Cardinal, yep. There we go. And let's just check. Nope, doesn't seem that there are any other names. So, cool. Whoa. Wait a second. You look exactly like what I'm assuming is your brother. Swift. Oh, Never mind, it's it's your uncle? I think it's your uncle. Yeah, it's your uncle. So you look exactly like your uncle Swift. And actually Vanga, well he's not part of this family, he's actually part of this family. You look kinda like your friend Cardinal here. Actually, wait. Okay, Cardinal's a guy. I. It's really hard to tell sometimes when you have the Berginus out. Okay, so Avocet actually is also pregnant, so... I want her to bring I want to bring her over to this nest and Kagu can just go over here and oh who's this? Kakori. Okay, well you've got some nice jeans. Nice. Um I think okay, we'll have Kingfisher. Oh, hey, come back. No. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Well okay, there we go. Now Kingfisher can grab you or not grab you, just like have you join the tribe. There we go. Okay. And Swift can help out with the hunting of this rabble. Okay. Well, welcome to the tribe, Kakori. I should probably name you, and I actually like her patterns a lot. Okay. What shall I name you? Hmm. Let's flip the page. And I think we're gonna name you Karkara. That sounds like a nice name. And I guess we'll just bring you over here to pick some more rub some more berries with the lark. And actually, you two can breed. Okay, cool. In the last episode, I was looking for more females, so that all works out. And Falcon, you're all alone on this tree stump. Just kidding, you're not alone. But we can actually try out this. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, then. Alright, so we'll just have Thrush. Well, hmm. Okay, who's your mate again? Let's see here. Oh, Petrol. Petrol. Sylph, okay. So, obviously, then we should breed with Sylph because he's alive. Where, where are you, Sylph? Is he alive? I'm pretty sure he is, Cardinal. Yeah, where are you? Sylph? Hello? Are you hiding behind a tree or something? Okay, I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Hi, Sylph. Alright, let's get you over here. I don't know what you're doing over there. Let's have you pick some fairies. And, oh, I did not mean to get rid of the nest. Okay, we'll just... No, oh, it didn't work. Did I fill out your mutation menus? Yes, I did. Okay, um, that was a problem in the last episode, so I just wanted to make sure it was addressed. Okay, Jay, you just come over here. And grab that meat. I think the person, I mean the nicheling that was originally hunting that died, so. Tragic. Tragic indeed. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like we're out of turns, and let's just end the day. Oh, yes. Children born. Okay, let's see here. Um, I noticed that our first child that we're going to be looking at is this one by Munya. Thank you, Munya. 
Or Miu Miu. I don't know how to say that. Okay, Kutaku. Let's see. What shall your name be? I think your name will be... I guess... Quetzal? I think I spelled it right. So, welcome to the world, Quetzal. And... Here we go. Iskois. Oh my god, look at the mask, guys. Okay, I just love the mask. It's like my favorite patterning. And, um... Let's see here. Who? Okay, Kagu and Aboset, of course, of course. I think your name will be Harrier. I, I don't. Did I? Have I named someone that? I don't think I have. Okay, Harrier. Let's just. Or Harrier. I don't know. Um, we'll just have these children over here. Oh boy. You know, the wings without, like, double wings, they can't really do anything. So, um, yeah, these sad, these sad ones over here who just have a useless wing. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, okay. Who was your mate, Stella? I, I mean, Citella, sorry. Comet. Yes, where is Comet? Comet? There we go. Okay, Comet will have you move here, move here, and then breed? Breed? Okay. Fabulous. Let's just have Stella go back into the nest and tell her children, hey, this place is getting crowded. Let, get out of here. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not good at dialogue. <laughs> okay, anyway, we'll just have New- oh. Well, I guess I didn't name you either, did I? New Duke? What shall your name be? I think I'm going to name you Robin. Nice. And, well, Nightjar. Well, Nightjar just grew up, so I'm sure she'll be able to find a mate soon, and Heron- Oh, it's your last day! You've only had Jay and Ren's dead. Okay. Um, who was I gonna breed you with? I keep forgetting. This is- this is a mess. Okay. Let's see if we can work this out. So, I know Falcon- He's had enough children. <laughs> who cares? Uh, okay. Um, what about our fellows over here? Nope. What about Jay? No, that's her son. Okay, um, I feel kind of weird. Oh, was it Swift? I'm pretty sure, sure Swift is a female. Okay. Vanga? No, Vanga's a child. Lark? Oh, maybe it was Lark, but then I already. Oh, Kingfisher? Where are you? Kingfisher. Deany. E oh. Never mind, then. What about. Lark, G and C, E and H, oh, yeah, okay, so I think, um, Lark is going to sire a child with Heron, so, boom, nice, and let's manage their mutation menus, because I don't think, yeah, and Lark hasn't had any children yet, so we obviously didn't put in any mutations, so, what shall your mutation be, um, since we are prepping to get into the jungle, we should put in some nice spots. And... Hmm. What else should I put on you, Lark? What, when are we getting horns? I, oh, we already got it. You know, I'm. we could have gotten it, like, a long time ago, and I never noticed because I'm so used to it being over here. But let's just put those in there. Great. And then we'll have Heron. Okay, this is your last turn. We don't want to make a mistake of that. Like, of wasting her move to the point where she can't make a nest and it's like she dies. And it's sad. That's happened before and I don't want that to happen again. Anyway, Lunia, you can just um, set your child's side right next to you and you can just, you know... Who's your father, Quetzal? Oh, Kingfisher. Okay, you guys are mates, so... Okay, well, Karkara is pretty young, I'd say, so I think that's fine. Oh, Lunia's young, too. Actually, they're the same age! Whoa. Oh, wait, I wasn't even gonna breed these two. I was gonna breed Lark and Karkara. Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> um, alright, Kingfisher. Well, you guys don't need to have another child right now, so... Um... I think we'll just have Karkara just, you know, grab some nuts from this tree. Oh, oh, it worked. All right, good job, Karkara. I believe in, I've believed in you. All right, Falcon. Well, I don't know. Should we just keep doing this? 
Eh, I don't- I mean, he doesn't even have that much of a strong voice, actually, so... We'll just- I mean... Yeah, okay. So, let's just put it- let's just set him down for now. And perhaps Thrush? I mean, Thrush already has a mate. I mean, it's, there's not really a need to do this, but I'm just doing it for fun. Like, yeah. Okay, whatever. Alright, Sylph. I mean, you guys can breed again, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Why not? Oh, it didn't work again. Okay. Well, Venga, what can you do? Well, you can hunt. So let's set you up here and look around for some rabbles or maybe some wolves. Yep. Okay. So, now, Kagu. Yes. I think... Okay, let's check. Okay, you've only had Harrier, or here we go. I don't know how to say it, but I guess you guys could have one more child too, but I think we're getting a bit out of control with the children, so I think we might want to halt until one day afterwards. Yep. Okay, Avocet. You can go over here and- oh, you can't. Okay. Well, Jay can just take care of that then. Let's just put you right there. Oh, jeez, okay. And, well, I guess Cardinal can move, and looks like we're out of turn, so let's look at what Satella's, I guess, fourth child will look like. <gasps> oh, look at that, guys. We got another winged child. Okay, guys, so I've actually experimented with this, but... Do you see this? Are, are you seeing this, guys? This is how far Starling can go. Eight moves, I believe. Yes. Eight moves. And watch this. Watch the animation. I. She goes, like, up. It's so cool. And look, she can- Okay. It's, um, fly and attack. That's what it's called, apparently. Oh, it didn't work. This rabble is just so cool with it. It's just kind of standing there. Okay, then. It's not even moving. Aren't you afraid? It's not afraid. Okay, um, Falcon. Well, you can... Well, you can't really, can you? So let's just get rid of this here. That's fine. I'm sure that Comet won't mind. I think he'll mind, but who cares. <laughs> I'm sorry, Comet. <laughs> anyway, Oriole. Oh, Oriole, you know what? You're kind of not super helpful because one there's no roots on this island I, I think yeah there's I haven't seen one root on this island and second of all well there's no roots on this island so I don't know what you can do but you can um have children with I don't know I mean not with your relatives obviously but you know with a male maybe Robin and Robin can put the wing in his mutation menu, so you guys can have winged babies, so you're not totally useless, you're just not super helpful right now. So, eh. No need to feel bad. Anyway, Quetzal, you can move this way, and Kingfisher. Well, we're gonna- we're gonna wait for some nichelings to die before we have children. Yep, except- except for you, because, um, yeah. So, you'll move over here, you'll breed, I said, you'll breed, you'll breed, okay, and so that'll be a thing, and Sylph, yeah, I, we're gonna refrain from breeding for now because I went a little trigger happy <laughs> with the babies last episode, so we're gonna just, you know, stop for a little bit. Okay, anyway, Harrier. Oh, you've got double claws. Nice. Her, 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 Harrier. I, I don't know what your name is. I don't know. That probably wasn't a very educated decision on my part. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, Swift. Let's see here. Yeah, you... Uh, you know, I'm very focused on having children for some reason, but for now we can just kind of chill out. Because I need to chill out, like, right now. 
And actually, we are getting prepped for our little jungle expedition, but I imagine we're not going to stay there very long. Because the jungle is scary and that's not what the birds of paradise are about. They're all about having a good time and having bird genes and being birds. Hooray! Um, anyway, so that's basically what we're going to be doing now, Thrush. Well, you know, I would like some more Baryena children so we could get rid of all these darn rocks here. And we can actually start, like, moving around the island because I have a tendency to bring the whole group just near the port so we're prepped and ready to leave, but I don't think we're ready to leave. So we can actually have some of our nichelings move over here and just be a happy group and get some nice update genes. Yay! Okay, looks like we're out of turns, so let's goodbye. Say goodbye to our mysterious Satella, who brought us four children, two of which, which actually had wings! I'm so proud of you, Satella. Thank you for coming into our lives, and it's time to say goodbye. No, Satella, you brought us with this sad digging nicheling. Okay, you know what? Whatever. Nunu. Unfortunately, we never got that peacock tail in the end. Let's see here. Yeah, none of us really got that peacock tail back into our jeans. I'm sorry. But it's, it's not meant to be, apparently. Okay, I really should have put that into their rotation menus, now that I think about it, but anyway, as our last Satella Nishling, Satella Nishling, what? As our last offspring of Nuch- Ugh, I- Okay, you know what, Nunu, what's, what's your name gonna be? I think your name is going to be Fireback, because you're kind of orange. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Let's just clear out some glass, and Comet can take care of his children now. Yay, Comet. Ultimate dad. Okay. Anyway, Falcon actually can just move here. Yay, Falcon. <laughs> okay. I need to stop messing around and just try to- Ooh, Rabble. You know, you know the thing that I wonder, guys? I wonder how the, this rabble got on here, because this is very obviously something that is in the middle of a sea, and like, huh. You know what? I think, okay, never mind. I think I get it now. Anyway, I guess this island has been here for a long time. Anyway, Cardinal, you can actually know. I was about to bring you back into the mainland, but again, I already explained to myself why I wasn't going to do that. So let's have Thrush and her mate Sylph come over and, you know, help them out. And you know, the island looks so much more biodiverse now, but you know, this area in particular is so crowded because of all the trees. Alright, I can't wait for this. Let's look around for any rabbles we can pounce on. Nope. But we can go on this tree and look, there's a rabble here. Oh right, Starling can't hunt. Okay, um, Rasisi can because she's got horns, but oh, okay. Starling, you know what? You tried your best. Well anyway, Oriole, you can just clear up that nest because we are actually not that we aren't that good at gathering some grass, I guess. But anyway, Lark, you can just grab some more berries, yep. And Munya, you can go over here. And actually, Munya, who was your offspring? Oh, Crane. Oh, I remember Crane. Do you guys remember Crane? I remember Crane. <laughs> Never forget. Okay, Quetzal, you can just help... Kingfisher, and, um, well, I mean, Kara Kara doesn't really do these kind of things with acorns. She mostly just picks up these fruit here, but doesn't seem like 
that's a very abundant food source so she's gonna just, she's just going to move over here and try to find a mate because it is time she is at the ripe old age of 10 days so let's get moving anyway Vanga well what can you do can you breed with Swift yeah you can you guys actually have the same coloring so okay why not I don't know so Vanga can watch as Swift just grabbed that berry and feel impressed and actually Hold on, I want to match up some of our peacock tailed nichelings, like Jay and. Oh. Okay, all of them are male. Oh, right, because this is the peacock tail, not the female po peacock tail. There it is, okay, and then we have. Wait a minute! Karkara! What? What is this? Okay, you know what? Oh. Okay, you know what? That that's kind of weird. I'm not sure if this is a glitch, but it's the female peacock tail is not present, even though it has no effect. I I feel like it would be here. I don't know, but anyway, this is just beta testing, so you know it's it's fine. Um, let's pair you up with someone. All right, Karkara. So, oh, I picked the wrong one. Peacock tail, yes. What about Vanga or Jay or Fireback or Comet? Well, not Comet. Comet had a mate. Okay, yeah, Vanga and Karkara. That I would like to see. So, sorry, Swift. Maybe some other time. What about Robin? Yes, Robin. Oh no, I was gonna, I was gonna breed these two. C and B F E O. Okay. Um. Well then, let's just go back over here and yeah, it looks like we have a lot of females now. The balance is never truly a balance, is it? Anyway, Harrier, you can just go over here and I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong and like offending anyone. And oh, Avocet, you're about to die. Aww. Well, you had three children, and you've hunted countless rabbits, rabbles, sorry, and I think you have earned a peaceful death on the whale island, so we'll say goodbye to you. And, wait, do we have more moves? No, we don't. Okay. Bye, Avocet. No, Avocet. What the heck? Where'd you come from? Where did you come from? Okay, looks like we have a Berina. Well, Munya, um, look, there's not a lot of people around. And the most Sterling can do is one, so that's three. Plus, plus, oh. Hmm. Oh, well then. So, you have four, so if we got out of the way, no. Hmm. Okay, so this is pretty tricky now. I don't know what to do. Let's see here. Can you... Nah. Even with eight movement, can't really do anything about this situation here. Okay, Munya, you're the strongest nicheling around, but I think we're gonna have to wait this one out. So let's have Starling fly to safety! Fly, Starling, fly! Woo! Okay, I'm being stupid. Anyway... Um, Falcon, you can say hello to a strange nicheling with two wings. Just kidding. I'm pretty sure you knew her when she was born. <laughs> okay, um, Jay, you can just grab those, and yeah, we definitely have a lot of deaths right now. And, well, I mean, I still want to wait for, like, until we get below 20 before we start breeding again, but you know... We're getting there. We're gonna breed again soon, guys. Anyway, Oriole. Uh, is anyone gonna die soon or something? Like, Rasisi? No, you're definitely not gonna die soon. I mean, Falcon will. And Sylph and... no. Okay, uh, well, we're gonna... There's some old guys here, so let's just, you know... 
wait them out, I guess. Okay, you know what? That sounds bad, but I I mean it in the most sincere way possible. Oh, it didn't work. Alrighty then. You know, let's just kind of have Vanga and our wonderful nicheling Karakara just, you know, hang out. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but let's see. What shall I give you as your mutations? Oh, we've got hemophilia. Like, double hemophilia. Does Vanga... Okay, well, he's got one no gene. So, Karkara, you're being real tricky right now. So, what I want to give you is... Bird beak? Because... Okay, guys, guys. We could have a bird. Like an actual bird with the bird beak. And the peacock tail, and the wings, like, what? Well, I mean, I, I don't know about the wings, but, <laughs> um, I definitely want to do something about the hemophilia, but I want this and this, and I think I'm getting a little delusioned right now, but, hmm, okay. So, should I sacrifice the, um well-being, or like the health, I guess. I mean, hemophilia isn't too terrible. I mean, you've also got bad fertility, and whoa, Karkara, you have a lot to work on, and I'm here trying to get wings and birds and birds. But, okay. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go with it. No, wait. You know, I'm not gonna go with it because- oh, wait, Vanga has wings. Okay, you know what? Just in order for a chance to have these nichelings not to have one useless wing. I mean, paw or wing. Yeah, I meant wing. We're just gonna put that in her mutation menu, and for Vanga, we're also gonna put the wing in his mutation menu. And as my decree, as the nichling god, or whatever. Oh, boy. Okay, well, you guys will have terrible fertility, apparently. Um, as our patron god is, I'm just gonna, like, give them wings. Yay. Oh, wait. I'm supposed to give you peacock tail, of course. Okay, so it's a very slim chance that my dreams will come true, so we'll just try, you know... And yeah, these nichelings obviously will not have the greatest fertility, but, you know, you win some, you lose some, and sometimes you lose a lot instead of some. Yep. Anyway, Swift. Okay, I keep saying that I want to do something with you, but I, I don't know, maybe Kingfisher, d and &E, e oh. No? What about Lark? g and C oh. Nope. Okay, uh, that's a little weird. What about Quetzal, Genie? Oh. Okay. Uh, these are a pairing. They, these guys are a pairing. Nightjar is not a male. Comet already had a mate. Falcon's about to die. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, that's a little disconcerting, if I do say so myself. But we're just gonna have to, you know... Wait, oh. You know what, that was a stupid thing. I was like, hey, why is this area dark? And then I realized, oh wait. You know what, there was probably a reason why this area was dark. I'm sorry, Munya. <laughs> okay, yeah, I always do this, guys. It's just like, I make some stupid mistake, and then... I don't know how this will end up in what? Okay, Rasisi, you can, like, go from here. Well, if you're in the middle, you can go from here or here. Like, what the heck? Okay, well, I think she's gonna assist in trying to clear out this area, and- Oh, there are a lot of rebels here. Alright then, well, let's just attack them. Very good. And I think the only moves we have left is Falcon, so he's going to, as a last-ditch effort, attempt to distract this Baryena from his daughter? I mean- it might not be- I don't think it's his daughter, but she looks exactly like him! So... Was- like... Abosette's child? No? 
What? You, are you guys even related? Um. Well, I mean, you had a children. So she's your, like, your, your stepdaughter, I think. I, I don't know. I'm not very good at family relations. But anyway, we'll have Harrier, you know, lurk over here so she can step in once the Sparina attempts to kill all of us. And yeah, uh, Swift, let's just clear out this dark area here. Oh, no. Okay, that's the best we can do. And Thrush. Well, let's just... Wow, 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 wow. Okay, fertility might be get in a way. In the way... I think, I don't know. Anyway, so the only turn we have left is nice cardinal. So let's just have him again assist in the spreading out of our nichelings. And guys, we just hit day 60. Wow, and look at look at this. Whoa, water. Okay. Munia, you surprisingly didn't get hurt thanks to your your uncle? No. Your stepdad. And you can actually take down the Sparina, I think, with the help of your friend Harrier. How many? Yeah, you need. So if you got out of the way, you can go over here and. Nice. Okay. And actually, um, maybe we could have one of our flying nichelings, you know, hop over here and grab this meat. And then, nope, okay, <laughs> never mind then. Alright, so we'll have Karkara, you know, get all of this and we can breed. Yep, good, good. My dreams will come true, guys. Maybe, I don't know, we didn't have a lot of luck with the last attempt with the peacock tail, so we'll see, guys. Just have to cross our fingers. Anyway, so... Oriole. Sad, sad Oriole. Okay. I'm sorry, Oriole. We'll have you guys breed, too. Good. On the next turn, we'll have your child. And we'll have Nightjar, you know, assist um, her friend, Robin, with hurt his job. And, oh, sad Fireback. You're just in the same boat as Oriole. <laughs> My god, what am I doing? Anyway, Lark, you can come over here, grab this brabble. Good, good, and okay, I know that you had or have a mate. Oh, I didn't even name Ismi, whose mother was Heron, who is dead. <laughs> yeah. And what shall we name you? I think I'm going to name you, uh, I guess, Ibis or. I think it's Ibis? Nope. This is why you shouldn't name nichelings things you don't know how to pronounce. I'll look it up when this video is over. <laughs> yeah, so... I'm sorry, guys. Anyway, Rossi, you can actually pick up that food with your dad. And, oh, Cardinal, you're all grown up. Yay, you're like... You look exactly like Swift. Like, almost exactly. Where is Swift? She's right here. He's... Look at that comparison. The only difference, I think, if we look at their genes, just... Wow, okay. You know, barely anything changed, in my opinion. Well, anyway. Sylph, you can just... Okay, what can your beak do? Yes, lots and lots of collecting, so we can help these two. Oh, well, I guess they didn't need that much help. But anyway, Thrush, you can position yourself right here. And just do some calling. And looks like we're out of turns. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.